Hi everybody, this is CC Readings and hi Virgo. Let's see what messages will come through for you guys. What do we have for Virgo? In case this reading resonates for you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person, let me move it a little bit. How is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked underneath the video for you. What do we have for Virgo, please? I will also be picking bonus messages in your extended. All right. What do we have for Virgo, please? We have abundance and surrender. Um, so what I'm getting for you, Virgo, is that there is this energy of you feeling um, a little bit lost, okay? A lot of you might also be feeling like, you know, you're not very connected to yourself or it's like, it's like an energy of finding your way out of something. But I also feel like this has a lot to do with the need to release control because i feel like the more you surrender the the more you just um <clears throat> go with the flow you will see the changes okay so there's definitely a need for you to let go of something and with the abundance energy right next to it this one says i'm a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality but for you to manifest what you want um, you need to let go, okay? I feel like there will be a lot of um, changes in your finances in the coming few weeks, okay? I'm just getting that energetically. There will be changes that will happen in your finances. And I also feel like there's like that strong sense of self um, that will come out. Let's see. What do we have for Virgo? That abundance card is almost giving me the magician vibes. <laughs> I mean, look at that. This is a second card now that is saying that you need to surrender. We have luck is on your side and don't let pride get in the way. And then we have you and your loved ones are safe and surrender to the divine. A lot of you are worried about something from what I can see. But there's not much to worry about because I feel like the energies are definitely supporting you. Let's see though. What do we have for Virgo, please? What do we have for Virgo? Oh man. All right, yeah, Six of Swords to the Eight of Cups. I feel like you walked away from something recently, Virgo. There is this energy of you leaving something behind that was very chaotic, okay? It's like I'm going to leave the situation for my own peace of mind kind of an energy. And you walked away. You decided to emotionally withdraw from something. However, I feel like it is hard for you to walk away from this. Um, but I see you moving on. I see you letting go. A lot of you are now focusing on your money, your work, your goals, okay? You're trying to almost like, I'm going to let go of this situation and focus on what I feel like matters right now for me, okay? That is where I see your focus. Oh my, my, you have the devil, the six of cups to the seven of swords. With the Knight of Swords. 
wait a second there is a situation here from the past that was very very toxic and there was a lot of even sneakiness involved oh that kind of makes sense why you're walking away because there was a situation that completely drained you but i feel like these were the memories that you had with this person that kept you stuck and some of you still have that in your heart but you feel like you know what it's it's better to leave to turn my back to this than keep feeding into this for my own peace of mind For a lot of you, this situation could come in again. Just saying. Because that Seven of Swords energy and the Six of Cups tells me it might show up again in your life. I will clarify it later on. Page of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you are trying to move on. You're trying to focus on the new. You're trying to kind of like distract yourself. Focus on things that matter. Okay, with the Page of Pentacles energy. There could also be something new and innovative that you're doing when it comes to your money and your goals. Okay. <laughs> there you are. I like it I actually like it I feel like Virgo you have that sense of self you know that is within you that you have with the hermit energy you know where you should be going and there is a profound you know there is profound healing going on here for you and there's a transformation you know in you as a person I feel like for a lot of you you're finally getting in touch with your emotions okay and you're learning lessons, which is good. I feel like for a lot of you, the next few days is going to be, there's going to be lots of communication for you. Okay. Um, there's going to be lots of communication. There will also be lots of changes in your home environment. Um, a lot of you will feel very um, motivated to organize things to make things right but at the same time with that neptune and pisces that we have it, it's going to bring your dreamy side out and pisces is your opposite sign so i feel like for a lot of you over the course of the next few days virgo uh instead of running away from your emotions or certain emotions that we do tend to run away from for whatever reason we all do it we all suppress things there is a need for you to go within and see what's it what's that emotion trying to tell you because with the two of swords energy this tells me that there is avoidance of some sort but with the hermit energy and the page of pentacles that talks about wisdom that you have okay so to me it looks like you know where to go where to take your energy and there's healing going on here but i like that you're moving so it's not like i'm gonna take take a break i'm gonna go out for two weeks that's my healing no it's it's like you're healing yourself you're working hard on your dreams you are finding it's like you are finding your way out of a dark time you have the knight of swords the rest i'm not really gonna take these are too many what is the knight of swords I keep getting that Virgo there is somebody who ghosted you who disappeared on you that person might come back in your life just saying the tower you know where it's gonna go i really feel like there's a situation from the past here that might come back why is this situation coming back or what is this communication about 
I feel like a lot of you might not even indulge in it because you feel like it's a waste of time. Somebody, oh yeah, the death and the fool. It's about something that ended and a new beginning that is attached to it with the Knight of Wands. Who is this Knight of Wands? Nine of Wands, the sun. Some of you may have a child with this person, but this is somebody, Virgo, who's coming towards you, okay? This is somebody, I'm getting a very in and out vibe. I'm not getting a consistent vibe from this person. For some of you, it could be two different people because I'm getting a fire sign energy, which is Aries, Leo, Sag, and then I'm getting Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But whoever this is, I don't feel like they're very like, they're here to stay. That's all I'm gonna say. That rhymed. Damn, your cards are flying out. Oh man, yeah, look at that. So you have the Three of Wands energy with the Three of, uh, sorry, the Nine of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. So it's like Virgo, you look at this and you're, you're realizing that this is not something that I want. I feel like a lot of you are trying to look ahead. You are trying to move on from things and you feel like it's better to stay single and work on your money, work on your goals, than, than deal with a person who's just simply going to waste your time. Okay. Your outcome is the Six of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. Money is looking good for you. There will be new opportunities to grow. I really feel like money is looking good for you. There could even be a partnership that will come in for you. But I'm also seeing it as a reconciliation energy. Ace of Cups is your advice from the reading, which talks about a new beginning, which also talks about filling your own cup first before giving into another person's cup, okay? <clears throat> King of Swords. So, Virgo, your advice here has a lot to do with making a clear decision. Because I feel like sometimes when we approach relationships, we do have feelings for somebody, but we keep telling the universe that, or, you know, whatever it is that you believe in, we, we keep telling that, we keep saying that this is the kind of a partner that I want. Why do I keep getting partners that don't respect me or that treat me like this, 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 and that? But we keep also accepting the crap from the past. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. So that signals out to the universe that you're still willing to take it. So for a lot of you with the Ace of Cups to the King of Swords energy, you need to be clear with your priorities. And there's nothing to worry about. I feel like with... with <laughs> With the Ace of Cups energy, these are your emotions. This is your emotional side. Some of you might have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your side, in your chart, <laughs> on your side. Um, your advice is to get in touch with your feelings. Your advice is also to look forward to a new beginning. Let's see. Let's clarify a couple of things. Tell me about the Devil, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Swords for Virgo. This is somebody who might have had other options or they're just seeming like a player to me. This person's looking forward to talk to you. Oh, their ways are so manipulative. This is somebody who might even have other options. Just saying. So be careful. Tell me about Virgo's outcome. This is you turning your emotional side like off completely, okay? And being like, I'm going to focus on my money. I'm going to focus on my goals. And the reason why you're doing, doing that is because some of you have really been feeling overwhelmed when it comes to your emotions. What is, uh, what is the advice for Virgo? 
find your passion again find your passion again you've lost your passion for something and i feel like there's also uh, for a lot of you your throat chakra is blocked so there's lack of communication not being able to communicate about your needs your wants as well a lot of you need to work on that and open yourself up to something that you loved doing you know do that again tell me about virgo's challenge five of ones reverse letting go of a conflict so it is best that you stop sometimes we have to stop fighting for certain certain stuff and it is what it is right and you have to stop fighting for something that's your challenge i will link your extended underneath the underneath the why can't i talk today oh my goodness i'm gonna link your extended underneath the video to find out how is your person thinking feeling about you their next moves outcome of ice love notes guidance from spirit and your future love so do check it out it'll be linked below as well as bonus messages okay let's see What do we have for Virgo, please? Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, one night stand. There is somebody coming towards you who's a player, I'm telling you. And this could be a person you've ended things with, coffin, endings, bringing new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. So this is, again, a sense of changing things. Okay. We have coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. I feel like you're going to be meeting up with somebody, whether that be an old friend or I don't know, you're going to be going out on a date. There's somebody who's going to be chasing you. I do feel like there's new love coming in for you if you're open to it. Let's see what surrender and abundance are saying for you. You need to understand the distinction between power and control. You have the power of internal control, but very little external control. External control over people and situations. The majority of our external control is through the power of influence. You can lead by example. Every soul has its own unique path and it is not your job to dictate it giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is the way to go your soul too has a path and you possess the power to control it but you must surrender the illusion that you have control over another remember that this is a process and from time to time your ego will rise up and demand that things be the way they should be envision a hot air balloon being loaded up with all of the things you think you need to control and let them ride away in the balloon you'll be surprised to find that when you release the energy of control and accept the energy of surrender those doors will open that you never expected because you have now given the universe space in which to materialize what is needed for your highest soul growth let's read for you abundance <clears throat> to close off your read Always remember that you're God and God is all about creation. God says yes, the ego says no. In order to have abundance in all areas of your life, you must create the space of receiving and know that you're deserving of anything you desire. The more you can release limited thinking and worry, the more open you are to receiving the infinite flow of the universe. 
that's it virgo those were the messages that came up for you i hope that you were open to receive these messages and i hope that you got something out of the reading your extended will be linked underneath the video if you want more details about what's going to happen next and advice from spirit take care and bye bye, bye.